Hello, welcome to your class. Congratulations, you have made it through the third module, the third lesson of this Forex course. And that's the lesson where we're going to talk about what you need to start trading. And congratulations to those who sent in their emails, who sent in their assignments, not done so. You want to make sure you do that because doing that would, would leave a line of communication open between you and I. And it also grant me access to answer all your forex related questions. So today we're talking about what you need to start trading. Now we're going to make this very simple. First off, you just simply need a very good internet service because varying the laptop. The, the laptop is a given. You need a laptop to trade, right? You must have a laptop. I know some people come to me and say, can't I just use my phone? Can't I just do analysis on my phone? You get to the point where you, you just have to, you know, you'll be able to analyze with your phone. But please, for the very first beginning starting point, you must have a laptop. So you need a laptop. You need very good internet connection. These are the basics that you need to start. The others are you creating a trading platform. And that's what we have here, creating a trading platform. That is going to www.tradingview.com and creating an account. Now it's a free account. You, you don't need to pay, but they do have the subscription service for people who love loading their charts, their charts with technical indicator because the subscription services allows you access to all of your tools, their indicators, their EAs and all of the other services that they provide. All right. So having a paid account comes with all of these perks, but you can still use the free account and maximize the potential. www.tradingview.com is where you want to go to create a trading account. If you're not certain, you can um, send me an email to winning with courage 2.0 to guide you as to how to create the trading view account. Now, the minute you log in and you, you sign in all your details, your email, email address, or password and all the confirmation you will have this interface right here right most times it's often the default setting where you have lots of stocks lined up here you can see DAX you can see in APL and all of those stocks so take all of all those stocks out because those are default settings what you need is what you need is the currency seen as that's what you're beginning with so you need the currency so after taking out all of the relevant stocks, this part that says watch list, there is a plus sign here that when you click on, it will show you a place where you type the currency. So remember last class when we talked about the majors, the crosses, and the exotics? Remember how we said the majors are all of those currencies paired with the dollar. The crosses are all of those currencies paired without the dollar. And the exotics are all of those currencies or the emerging economies paired with the dollar. And remember, I also said sending those assignments. Think of a, a country paired with the dollar, you have a major. Think of a country paired without the dollar, you have a major. So, have you paired all those prices? If you have, sorry, those and pairs, those currency pairs, if you have, this is where it's now come in handy because your ability to pair them. And I'll guide you into typing them into this place and having it lined up on your watch list. Like I said, you want to start with the minimum of two. So don't go try to trade all of them. Start with two, advance to three, take it to four, five, six, and all that. So what is that pair that you've learned? You said euro. I'm interested in euro. Okay, euro. And I want to pair it with the dollar. That's euro USD. Good. So we have that pair there. All of these are just individual brokers. We're going to talk about um, brokerage in the next minute. So these are all individual brokers. So you can pick anyone. It's just fine. Anyone you pick is just fine. So there you have it. Once you click on it, it automatically reflects on your watch list. Now that you're done with that, think of another one. Can we think of a cross? Okay, let's think of um, Australian, Japanese. Yet. Okay, so that's AUD, JPY. Can you see it right here? This is a broker, cracking a broker. So can you pick them? Good, you pick them. There you have it. It's, it's highlighted in one. So think of all of those currency that you need to pair. So when you type them here, they will appear. All right. So you see why it's very vital that any assignment I give you, you do it because that assignment will guide you 
in progressing in this your class. So now that you know, you need a laptop, you need an internet connection, and you need to create a trading account with TradingView. That's www.tradingview.com. The next important thing that you need is a broker. Now, like we said, this is a money market. This is a market where you buy and sell in countries' economy. So you are here, you are in Nigeria, you are trading in the United States economy. You are, you are South African, you are trading in the, in, in the, in the Japanese economy. So for every time you are in the market, you're trading in that country's economy, you're playing in their market. So that uses some kind of power, doesn't it? So for you to be able to do that, you must go with a broker because there was a time when Forex was only open to the elite, people with loads of money. But today, you and I are able to trade in this market as retail traders. We're able to come with as little as $50 trade. And we're able to do so because of the brokers. So who are these brokers? These brokers are, in simple terms, middlemen. They are kind of like our go between us and the market, right? So they, they are our representatives. We create an account with them. We fund the account and we pick a leverage that's okay. This is the leverage that I want to use, and this is how I want I want my money to work for me. And they take that message and put it into the market, and then of course you make a profit. The profit is yours, so it is tax free. It is all of those little free, and it's just you, your money, and your profit or your loss, as the case may be. Okay, so. How does the um, bro broker work and how, how can you get started with the broker account? The first thing, there are so many brokers, so many brokers. I could just recommend a few. You can check the description section for a recommended broker. There, there's a link there you could click on and if the link is malfunctioning, send me an email, winningwithforex2.0 at gmail.com and I will give you a recommended broker link. Other than that, there are other brokers you can pick from. There is FXCM, there is FXTM, there is Alpari, there is, you know, there's so many, like you've seen those ones that you've seen practice, you've seen, you've seen XM market, you've seen other traders, you've seen that uh, so many things, right? But some of them are, 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 are kind of tricky to use because they have very, very high spread, they have very high charges, and some, some, some traders tend to complain about the discrepancies that they experience with their trading and all of that. So some of these guys can be very tricky. So for, for you to avoid all of those um, upheavals that are common with brokers, you want to make sure you go with the recommended broker. Okay. You want to go with the recommended broker and, um, you want to do so. I have one recommender. You can click the link or send me an email to get the recommendation. But other than that, you can carry out a broker research, pick a broker that is regulated in your country. I know that, that every country has an individual broker, but make sure that that broker is regulated and they've got very good reviews because having a good broker is your basic step to being a successful trader. Okay? So the minute you create a broker account, of course, all you need to do is just log into your website, create an account, and set it up, do all the KYC and all that, and there you have it. So the minute you have that, they will create a wallet for you. They will create a wallet for you, and every broker has what we call the Meta Trader 4. Some of them have the Meta Trader 5. So you have access. That is also a trading platform. Meta Trader 4, the Meta Trader 5, they are pretty much like the trading view. But in, in, in that, it is a broker designed trading platform. Okay, so say you're going with um, Alpari, they have their Meta Trader Four. Say you're going with Handset Markets, they have a Meta Trader Four. Say you're going with Hot Forex, they have other. They all have the Meta Trader Four. So whether you're trading with the, the Trading View platform or you're analyzing or trading with your broker created Meta Trader Four, it's all the same. The interface is the same. The market is showing you the same thing and all of the movements are following the same way. So these are the things you need to trade. The laptop, good internet, the trading platform created on www.tradingview.com and a broker account. In the next class, I'm going to talk, talk to you about leveraging and how you can begin to fund your broker account and how you can use leveraging to your advantage. Like I said, your $50 has no place in the forex market. 
but because you have a broker, you will be able to play with $50. So the question is, how are you able to play with $50 and how are you able to make a profit with $50? We'll be talking about that in the next class. We'll talk about leverage and what the heck it is. Greg, I'll you once again. I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.